So today I'm going to teach you how to use Google Contacts. So Google Contacts is an excellent way to kind of keep track of who you're in contact with, who you're talking to, your interactions, and um, keeping like emails, phone numbers, and their name and organization all together and organized. So you can access Google Contacts just by going through your Google app dashboard and clicking on contacts or you can simply just search Google Contacts up. So right here I have a list of some contacts that I've created on my personal account but I'm going to my other account I don't have any contacts yet. So to create a contact we just click on this little icon on the top left corner create a contact and we can start filling out our names. So right here I've created kind of a fake contact here and um, you can also assign labels so right here I would say that this is his home email and this would be his work phone and then we can add additional fields for that. If I type in another email here I can label it as work and that can help kind of keep these organized. I can also add notes. For more fields you can click on the bottom left show more and you can fill out all of this other information. Click the bottom right button to save, and there we go. To utilize your contacts, just click on it and click on any of the emails to automatically have a pop-up window lead you to Gmail, or you can um, Google Hangout them. Because of this, because I just created this fake contact, we don't see any interactions here, but if we check out some other contacts, we can see all of the interactions with that person. To export and import contacts, just click on the buttons on the left side, and to print them, you can click this button right here. To change sorting by first name and last name, click on the settings icon on the top right corner, more settings, and you can select last name or first name, and it'll automatically change the order for you. In addition, if you would like to sort your contacts, you can create labels. Using the label of school, I can assign labels to people that I know. And when I click on schools underneath labels, I can see the two people that I have assigned the school label. Alright, good luck!